Okay, the fish you buy in the store may not be this mutated, but it really is full of poisons. In fact, most of the dangerous toxins in our bodies actually come from the small amount of fish in our diets. It's been said before, we are what we eat. So what are you putting in your body? Can you imagine that over the last hundred years, 90% of all the fish in the oceans have disappeared? And yet of all the fish that are caught today, nearly half are thrown back dead because they're the wrong age or species. Then of the fish that are kept, 30% is used to feed cattle and even other fish. So what the hell are we doing? As if the ocean has an endless supply of fish. Maybe there's nothing wrong with eating fish, but there's something damn wrong with emptying the oceans. Not only are we destroying nature, but we're poisoning ourselves. You see, when we pollute the environment, the poisons come back to us directly through the food we eat. So it's time to ask the question, how can we keep going as if nothing is happening? How can we see ourselves as the greatest species on Earth and at the same time destroy the natural world upon which all life depends? The destruction of the oceans is the same as the destruction of the rainforests. They're the result of a greater problem. We define nature as our property, and somehow we see ourselves as separate from nature. But nature gives us life, and what we do to it, it does to us. But unfortunately, our consumer society is more interested in satisfying its immediate appetite than in guaranteeing a healthy future world. Clearly, we need to relate more to nature. If we made nature follow our example instead, maybe we'd see how ridiculous we are. Imagine an animal that's always fighting wars, or an animal that consumes everything within reach with no concern for the consequences, that puts a price on everything instead of making sure that everyone is treated fairly, that ignores nature's beauty and surrounds itself with steel and concrete to convince itself it's no more than a machine. But what if we treated animals intelligently, realizing that what we do to them, we do to ourselves? What if we recognize that just because we don't hear fish screaming, it doesn't mean they don't feel pain? What if we understood that just because we don't see what happens underwater, doesn't mean it has no effect on us? And what if we realize that by acting as if we're the rulers of the earth, we become the prisoners of our own ignorance? Now, more than ever, we must radically reconsider our relationship with nature, both collectively and individually. Throughout history, many people have realized that nature is like our mother, and that we must treat it that way. They recognize that nature is not a cosmic mistake, and neither are we. And to live in harmony with nature and with each other requires moderation instead of greed. In today's world, what nature looks like tomorrow is mostly up to us. If we want to create a beautiful world for future generations to live in, then we have to make sacrifices and not sacrifice the world for our personal satisfaction. No matter how difficult it may appear, the truth is, we can do anything we believe in. And with two thirds of the planet's surface covered with oceans, they're an important first wound to start healing. If we let them turn into watery deserts, it would simply mean the end of the world. We have to remember that any future evolution of species on this planet, including our own, depends on the choices that we make now. The earliest life on Earth may well have begun in the oceans, and has made an incredible journey since then. Each fundamental evolutionary step happened quicker than the last one. But human beings have only been around for a mere heartbeat in the lifetime of the Earth. Indeed, nature is far more mysterious than most of us give it credit for. So who knows what the future really holds for us? And for that reason, my message goes to young people who can look at life with new eyes. Stand up and demand a healthier world for you and your children. Challenge yourself and others to see the bigger picture. Nature is dying for you to evolve. 